Now, so far we've talked about handwritten notes, but it may well make more sense to use PowerPoint. So in this video, I'm going to show how you can record voiceover and annotations on PowerPoint using a Microsoft Surface. So here we have PowerPoint. When you install Camtasia, it gives you an add-in. If you click on add-ins, you'll see over here there's a record button. I'm not going to press it because I'm already recording, obviously. Uh, I started to set Camtasia going before I started this. But if we now go back and run the presentation, we can go forward or backwards. Down here we can click and get a pen. And we can annotate, circle things, go on to the next slide, draw diagrams, point things out, ask questions, and so on. This can, of course, be done in class because anything you write on PowerPoint will appear on the data projector. So it can be a much better way to write complicated stuff than on a whiteboard or blackboard in a large lecture theatre where most people can't see it and where it's not captured by the lecture recording system. But also, the whole thing is now being recorded. Uh, when you finish, or we'll discard the incantations in this particular case, and it will then, if you set it going as an add-in, it will ask if you want to stop. In my case, I set it going beforehand, so I'll... Is recording PowerPoint a good idea or not? Well, the research suggests that it's found by most students to be less engaging than handwriting. However, if you already have huge numbers of slides, and especially if you have detailed equations or diagrams or tables or something, then it can be very useful. But the recommendation is cut words, write them in. So if you're doing a fair bit of that, circling things, annotating things, writing things in, then it's not so bad.